Hey there YouTube, welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So, the can crushing's going pretty good. Can crusher's still working, mostly. <laughs> it is showing a little bit of like twisting and warping. But, we're getting to the point that we've got quite a few cans saved up. And I want to get something to measure it with. I picked this up off of Amazon. It's just a little mini crane scale. And it was pretty cheap. This one's got an aluminum body, so it was a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones. And I got the orange one. That would see this is tracked down. <laughs> and real quick, what we'll do is double check it just to see how well it works. So this one's pretty simple. It just has on off, hold and tear and unit. So on off, pretty self-explanatory. Unit, you can switch between the units. So we'll leave it on pounds. And hold and tear is pretty interesting. So if you just hit tear real quick, it'll set it up for a tear, which is basically setting up the weight as things stand. So if I did it right now, it would do it just for the weight of that hook. So one of the functions that people had complained about in the comments was that it doesn't change the weight. And the whole thing is that you need to make sure that automatic hold isn't on. So if you hold this down, it puts on automatic hold. Hold it again, turns it off. And just a little bit ago, I was trying to film this and for some reason it was already on automatic hold. But with automatic hold off, you're able to pull down on it or add weight and continue to add weight and continue to add weight or take weight off to kind of shift it around. Otherwise, with automatic hold on, as soon as the weight stabilizes, it'll hold it. And then even if you let off on it, it's still holding that weight. So for this, in case anyone's interested in one, definitely read through the comments to see what people say, because it's kind of interesting, but also know that there's a way that you can turn that off. All right, now real quick, I just took a little bit of 550 cord and tied it to this five pound kettlebell. Now this kettlebell didn't weigh a full five pounds when I was inside on the bathroom scale. So it'll be interesting to see what this reads. All right. And then the differences between the bathroom scale and this particular scale. So then real quick, we'll just hit tear and then see if it goes negative. Is it holding? Okay, you suck. <laughs> and then we'll do the same thing with this 10 pound scale or kettlebell. Blink. So 9.92 ish. If it would quit rocking. <laughs> now, inside on the bathroom scale, this was about 9.8. So it seems like this scale reads a little bit heavy for both the five pound and the 10 pound, but I don't really have anything else to compare it against. So either the bathroom scale is a little bit on the uh, positive side <laughs> or this scale's a little bit off, but either way, we're in a rough ballpark. So we should be able to get a pretty good idea as to how much the cans weigh as I go to take them in. Then here's a bag of crushed cans. We'll see real quick how much this weighs. So it looks like just short of five pounds. And then here's another bag. We'll see how much this one weighs. So about six and a half pounds. So that'll be about 10 pounds of cans. And at a lot of places, if you go over 50 pounds, you can get a little bit extra money per pound. So it's looking almost like I'm gonna need 10 white trash bags full of cans in order to break 50 pounds. I think this little scale worked out pretty good. It should at least put us in a pretty close ballpark whenever we go to take the cans in and recycle them. It's pretty cool. I kind of like the blue backlight. It's pretty easy to read. The functions are pretty cool. 
to with having the auto hold or turn the auto hold off. And then it's nice because you're able to switch between different units. So just in case you go to take the can somewhere or you go to weigh something and you need it in a different unit, it's easy enough to flip and switch. And I definitely see myself using this more often. This is pretty cool because this one will do up to 330 pounds. So really, if I had something strong enough, I could almost make a little step on here and weigh myself. <laughs> But I also see it being one of those things where, you know, if you're going for a flight and maybe you just want to weigh your suitcase real quick or like even on the back, they had stuff where it was like people weighing fish or birds and stuff like that while hunting or fishing. And the nice thing with this is that it came with everything you need. So it came with the small lower hook. It came with this upper one and it came with the batteries. And then you can also see it has an auto shut off. So if you're not using it, it tries to save battery life and in the directions it said the battery life was roughly 150 hours now i don't know if that's 150 hours while in here so maybe you should take the batteries out when not in use or if that's 150 hours of use hope you guys enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe and i'll check it next time